We just finished our first portage. Um, actually, no, that's a lie. We just finished one way of the first portage. So what we do is we bring our bags, we come back with nothing, and then we go get the canoe. And we go back with just a canoe. And I don't really do much, just Will takes the canoe and I just walk. The first lake was pretty hard to cross. There was a lot of wind, but it was okay. And it's about, I don't know, it's around noon now, I guess. So we're gonna cross another lake, do another portage, and then probably have lunch there. We did Smoke Lake, Ragged Lake. This lake, I have no clue what, oh no, that was ragged. I'm sorry. The next one is Big Porcupine, and then the next one is Little Coon. So I better start walking now, uh, in case Will needs help, because it looks like it's a pretty hard portage. It's pretty steep, and yeah, I'm supposed to be helping. Do you really like? Ooh, a bunch of legs. Again, again, Yeah. She ate like a bunch. She ate yeah. all this. We'll take and cut them. Damn it. Do you still like mice? No. Nope. Do you still think they're cute? They're mean and greedy. <laughs> but oh. it's still good. Yeah, and it was hailing last time. Mm -hmm. This is happening. This time we had mustard. Yeah. We had mustard last time too. Really? So we have veget pate, hummus, mustard, and pita bread. Is it good? Really good lunch. <laughs> okay. So it's the last portage of the day and the last portage of the through leg, first leg of the journey. So we're at the furthest point away from the lake access point and we're on Little Coon Lake. As you can see, all the trees are bare now. Just two weeks ago, they were full of leaves, but now all the leaves are under our feet. We're almost there. Mm -hmm. A beaver decided to remodel his apartment so basically everything is flooded <laughs> tired much <laughs> You okay? Yeah. Let's go. Okay, so we just did the last portage of the day. So that's exciting. So many bags. We're gonna have supper, which is very exciting because food is always the best thing ever when you go camping. Um, we still have two more nights, so that's cool. It was very cold last night when we arrived. There was snow and it was, it was like ice. There is ice everywhere. It was funny, but we weren't that cold last night, so that was really nice. We had a fire. Um, <laughs> we'll burn his glove. <laughs> I got a claw hand. We had a bit of an accident last night. My glove got blown into the fire. So, I was trying to heat them up. Them <laughs> trying off. to dry them. But, uh, yeah, they've fused into a, an uncomfortable <laughs> position now. <laughs> Apart from that, it was very nice. I basically paddled and walked all day. It's very what? It's very dense. Yeah. Trees. Home for tonight. 
home for tonight. We just set up the tent. We're gonna be ready to cook some food, but first we're gonna have a snack, seaweed. We like to snack a lot. We snack basically all the time. Yep. We set up the tarp. Hopefully it's not gonna snow tonight. Um, we are lucky because today was 10 degrees, so that's pretty warm. Will is putting a rope around a tree right now for like food later um, tonight. You know, earlier when I said that the weather was great and it was 10 degrees and we were super lucky. Well, it's raining now. It's getting worse. <laughs> A tarp cookout. Good morning, guys. Uh, we're finishing our first portage right now. I think it's gonna be a long day, but at least it's not raining anymore. It rained all night and it was pretty cold. But it's still fun. Do you feel better now that we know where we are? That was a nice confirmation. I mean, it's nice to know that the way I was using the compass on the map is the same thing. Yeah. So. We kind of got lost and did not know where we were, so. Double confirm. Girlfriend. Google Maps. You <laughs> look very relaxed. Mm. <laughs> was lunch good? It was really good. After getting lost for about an hour, we decided to give up and we had lunch. Anyway, now we are doing our last portage of the day. Will is carrying the canoe over there. I'm carrying his stuff. Okay, this is really heavy. I mean, I'm saying that this is heavy, but I'm just carrying two coats. Will is carrying the whole canoe over there. And I'm complaining because I'm carrying two coats. Look at how pretty this is. There's the river flowing down there. And yeah, it's just like beautiful. And blue sky, which is pretty amazing. Yeah, okay. Let's keep going. Continues to explore without any fear. And every day that passes by feels more like home. As we watch our love grow. At camp, and we set up the tent. Running through the trees to get ahead of you, nature sits me. It's wider than the snow, crisper than the air that I breathe. We had a seaweed snack. Oh, oh, oh. searching for the warmth to stand by my side. I'll show you what we have for supper tonight. So, first of all, I'm gonna have a little nun hydration snack. These things are really good. And yeah, it's they're really cool when you hike in the desert especially, but 
We're not drinking enough water right now because the water's so cold, so we don't want to drink it, which is pretty stupid. But yeah, so I'm gonna have one of those right now. And so tonight we're gonna have this Harvest Food Works, um, just like Thai veggies and rice, I guess. This is for two people, but honestly, we're gonna have two things because we like to eat a lot. And then the second one is gonna be this one Santa Fe. Black beans and rice. Perfect. Guys, we just woke up and there's snow on the tent. Check this out. Time to make some coffee. Every day that passes by feels more like home As we watch our love grow miserable out here right now. It's minus four. We just crossed um, like the first lake and we got to the first portage and now we're finishing the portage. We'll have the canoe walking and drinking coffee right behind. We have one more lake to cross which is like the biggest lake. It's Smoke Lake. <laughs> We made it! <laughs> Barely. <laughs> and now, of course, it's sunny and nice. Okay. We made it. Like my legs could collapse at any time. <laughs> We made it. <laughs> Your nose is crazy. <laughs> Did you want to take your life jacket off? <laughs> no. I didn't take anything off. Did you take your life jacket off? It's, oh, this is dry. <laughs> it, no, it's not. I'm so cold. My knees hurt so bad. But it was fun. <laughs> A little update, we're still frozen, but the canoe is on the car. Using normal bathrooms again, so that means the trip is really over. And I'm freaking like, I hit my head on the muffler of the car, trying to put the straps for the canoe. Let's go home. I had a feeling that when we got to the docks, like, like stamp. And sure enough, like, like <laughs> when I like flopped out of the boat, I couldn't, couldn't feel my knees on the Yeah, you were like crawling out of the boat. Goodbye, Algonquin. This is the oh. definition of hiker trash. <laughs> 